trainers, Dragon Tamer Nate and Pokemaniac Rick. You're listening to Pokemania on StudiVoxFM.com. You're listening to the Pokemania Show with Nate and Rick on StudiVox FM. Oh, hi. Yeah, you are. You're listening to the Pokemania Show with Nate and Rick on StudiVox FM. Thanks, Ash. And Intro Man. Yes. Intro Man. <laughs> Hello, everyone. You're back. I'm back. Give I'm so wave. excited. Give a wave to everybody. Hi. There he is. It's Nate. I'm so back. If you, if you were listening last week, t- the last two weeks, in fact, you will notice that Nate was not here and it was, in fact... James, cool trainer James. What's cool um, trainer James? Explain to the people why you weren't here, Nate. Well, I was uh, I was going through Victory Road. Yeah, you were. Yeah, I've I made it to the other side, got to the Pokemon Center, so now I can just fly there whenever I want. Oh, so you didn't take on the Elite Four? Not yet. I haven't done that yet. No. Oh, no. I thought you were going to take on the Elite Four. No, I just had to get through Victory Road so I could get to the Pokemon Center. And you took two weeks out of your um, life yeah, for that. It was, it was a hard two weeks. Intense. It was. But you did take time out to a. Rec- well, you, you you sent in your um, oh yeah, I sent in your my sections game. and your competitions and things like that. Thanks yes. for that, by the way. No worries. I really appreciate the it. competitions weren't mine. <laughs> yeah, they were. No, they weren't at all. They I know. You, I know what you did, and then they weren't mine. You sent them in to me. Oh, okay. You said if okay. you don't if you don't do these captions, I'll be very upset. Right. <laughs> okay. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Yeah, I happy forgot Valentine's about that. Day. Um, this is how me and Nate decided to cho- to spend our Valentine's Day together in a studio. Talking, talking about, about Pokemon. Pokemon. What more could you want? It's just sheer luck that it happened to happen on, like, the, the show landed on Valentine's Day. Yeah. So, to all the ladies out there, I'm sorry, but Pokemon comes first. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Not that, you know. Well. Should we uh, let people know how they can get in touch? I'd love. This is what I like about you being back. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can get in touch with us here in the studio in uh, numerous ways. You can, uh, you can Skype us. You can search on Skype for Study Vox FM. Become you, friends with us as well. Yeah. You can email us at radio at studyvox.com. You can. You can tweet us at Pokemania FM. Our, our good buddy old pals, our friends, our poker pals, James and Emma, are uh, monitoring that. They and are. I am monitoring as well. I have it on my good computer. And you can also... Go on to Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Pokemania FM. While you're there, hit like. Same thing when you're tweeting, only you don't like you follow on Twitter. Yes. I don't know, I get confused with it. Like us as well if you want, just type like into Twitter. <laughs> yeah, well, hashtag that, like, fine. <laughs> hashtag like Pokemania. Saw it, do that, please. Yes. Uh, you can get in contact with us for anything you have any questions you have any jokes you have any pictures you want to send in yeah you have valentine's day cards you want to send us please anything pokemon <laughs> related send it in and we'll send it in definitely and share it with everyone listening indeed and that is the best way for you to enter our competitions well which we're gonna well move linked. on to now so uh yeah we every week we run two competitions for those of you new listeners um we run who's that pokemon We've in got, which hang we, on, sh- we got jingles for them do we yeah Oh, did I you not know about that? No, I did not oh, know never about mind. that. Never mind, you carry on then. Well, um, yeah, we, we, who's that Pokemon? We take it, <laughs> we get a silhouette of a Pokemon, yes, and we, we want you to tell us what that Pokemon is. Indeed we do. So, so here is this week's Who's That Pokemon? Coming up on your webcam now. There we go. What's going on there? Wow. Hello. Good Pokemon, though. Yeah, well, don't give it away. It's not, all Pokemon are good. I like it. <laughs> I like what you've done there. What about Team Rocket's coughing? What about it? It's not good, is it? It's, it's awesome. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so that is this week's Who's That Pokemon? That will be knocking around Twitter and Facebook shortly. Um, our second competition is the Caption Contest. Caption Contest. In which we take uh, we get a scene from a Pokemon episode, the TV episode, um, and we want you to come up with a caption, a uh, creative and comedic caption. Um that you think will make us laugh. Indeed, the co- criteria of this, as I've now um, got down to a T, is how funny it is times the poker knowledge <laughs> divided by whether or not you go to the effort of taking the photo, adding your own text to it, and then sending it back to us. Ah, oh, okay. So different ways, different ways. I don't, not divided by. No. Uh, there's, some, um, there's definitely some weird bracketed and then squared <laughs> that's the formula that formula <laughs> right there amazing 
So, uh, and here is this week's caption. It's a good one. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Professor Oak on the phone. Muck just wants to talk to whoever pre- Professor Oak's on the phone to. Hello. I'm assuming Ash. Muck just wants to. Or Ash's mum. Could she could be on the phone to Ash's mum? You know they have could that. Be. that could be. That Valentine's thing going on. Maybe it's Muck just giving Professor Oak a Valentine's Day hug. Yeah, I see that. I can see uh, that. Professor what, Oak. what do you guys think, though? <laughs> Professor Oak is enjoying it. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that is this week's image for our caption contest. That will also be knocking around Facebook and Twitter alike shortly. As we said, you, if you'd like to enter, you can do in the ways that we've, we've already said. You can Skype us, you can email us, you can tweet us, you can Facebook okay. us. If you are tweeting us, we have a request. Oh, for the competition? Yes. yes, we do. Um, on your, if you are entering our caption contest, yeah. at the end of your tweet or enter, entry, entry, I don't know, at the end of the entry, tweet, entry, ent- entry, yeah, entry, yeah, that's right. At the end of your entry or your tweet, if you could put hashtag caption contest, um, that would be very helpful. Or caption. Yeah, or caption. Hashtag caption. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go with caption. Because then we don't have to go through all the tweets we have yeah. to find the competition entry ones. Yeah. So, um, of course, send your tweet in. Say, like, uh, who's that Pokemon? Um, I'm going to go with Drill. Yes. Hashtag caption. Oh, no, Pokemania. Yeah, but you wouldn't say caption for the who's the Pokemon. <laughs> Hashtag who's that Pokemon. Yeah, WTP for who's that Pokemon. D- WTP? What does that stand for? Who's that Pokemon? Well, yeah, I know that, but <laughs> it must stand for something else as well. No. So, yeah, just put captions at the end Where's of the Where's that order. pirate? <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, it, just to make it easier for us to find your entrance. So, um, yeah, of course. that is our competitions. Mm. There we go. Um, I do have to uh, nip something in the bud straight away. Uh, we've had a tweet. Know what you're talking we've about. had a tweet. You do know what I'm talking about. From Luke and Gengar says, "I'm sure Nate Slopeney will be very upset. So upset that he won't be with her on Valentine's Day." It's all right. He's what seen is this it, about? He's seen I've it been away for today. two weeks, and this rumor seems to have spread like wildfire. There is no. There's nothing going on with a Lopeney. It's not a rumor. We have video proof. I don't, I don't believe you. I don't, we there do is have video no. proof, Nate. We have video proof. We do have video proof. He spent a day with us, so it's fine. I'm not even going to... Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's Valentine's Day, don't... You, okay. can't, you can't spend Valentine's Day by okay. slagging off the woman... It's a Pokemon that I said in a quiz. <laughs> yeah? Once. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. We have a, a massive, massive announcement right now. But in the meantime, it's Fallout Boy After first. this song. Yeah. This is a... Uh... My, my song's What You Did in the Dark Cry? Indeed.
My songs know what you did in the dark eye. In the dark eye. In the dark eye by Fero Boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best one we could come up with. Yeah. Fero Boy. It's got to be about one for Fallout Boy. Fallout Boltoy. <laughs> Fallout Beedrill. Yeah. You love fine. that. I do. So, uh, big announcement. Big announcement that you 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 tantalised us with before no, the I song it, came in. Little taste, yeah. Uh, big, big announcement. Woo! We need, like, I feel like we need a drum roll for this, but... Do you want me to give you a drum uh, roll? Yeah, I think you could give us a little okay. one. Okay, hang on. Let me move my mic closer to the thing. <laughs> when do you want me to stop? Yeah, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. We, um, we, have our, we have our very own website now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was such an anti-climax. anti-climax. I know. We, we have a very own website now. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, we do. We have a Pokemania FM website. Yes. Tell them the address. www.pokemaniafm.com P-O-K-E-M-A-N-I-A-F-M dot C-O-M. I think James can tweet that address for us. I will tweet right that address now. right and now. And stick it on our Facebook page. Uh, so yeah, head over to our, our website. Hey, why don't you explain what's on the website? There's, there's a lot <laughs> on the website. Um, we've got a special forum thing, haven't we, James? You know more about this yeah, than me. We've got, a, we've got a Pokemon forum, which is for in, during the week when the Pokemon show isn't going, you can send in ideas and theories, especially about X and Y. Um, yeah, and there's lots the of games, not the letters. the games. Yeah, um, you can also uh, view lis- listen again, and from now on, yes. you have to view previous shows. So if you miss the show today, you can view it tomorrow. Or you if you just want to listen to all the shows we've got, because we uploaded a lot of shows, but didn't we've we? Got about fifty-two hours yeah. worth of shows now. <laughs> fifty-two hours. That's pure that's, Pokemon. That's over two days of me and you talking that's about fine. Pokemon. What? That's amazing for me. I think yeah. Hmm. Yeah, um, we've, I think we've got pretty much every show. I think we're missing the first three. We're trying to find them at the moment, but we've got every other show. They've been lost. They've been stolen. So, um, yeah, you can you can go over to our website, pokemaniafm.com, and uh, ch- listen to all our past shows, whichever ones you want to do. All our captions and shouts will be on there as well. Yes, and as of today, every episode from today onwards will also be uh, a video. The video that you're watching on your webcam, you'll be able to view the episodes as well. All kinds of stuff is on there. There's a little about section about us. There's um, we'll be we'll be putting things all over it, won't we? We will. We will. When, when we do more things, we'll be slapping them on it, taking pictures, yes. showing you pictures. We might use it as a place to put all the fan stuff. We, that'd be a good idea. I there's could a, definitely there's a do lot that. on there. Go and explore. Go and explore. explore yeah. Think. Go and explore like you would, like rock cave. <laughs> explore. So uh, just quickly, we'll let you know what's coming up on tonight's show. Indeed, we have got some news, lots and lots of news to talk about, as I'm sure you, you, you may have heard, some of you may, may not have heard, so it's, it's going to be educational. Uh, we've also got your Pokemon of the week. We do have my Pokemon of the week. Um, you've got my Pokemon card of the week. We do have your Pokemon card of the week. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do this all the time. We've got a poker quiz. Oh, a poker quiz! This week done by me as last week. Uh, the last two weeks were done by James successfully yes. I feel um, nah, but now I'm taking back over uh, we also have a Pokemon battle video that we'll be showing it's a trading card game online battle um, we've got Poke Essentials and just and we've even got our fan section our new fan section where every week you say our new fan section well, we do yeah, it all the time okay. we'll, I'll be showing um, the stuff that you guys have been sending in during the week uh, to everyone who's listening so um, excellent stuff Indeed. Let's get on with these things then. Yeah. Okay. The next section is this one. Pokemania Weekly. I timed that to perfection. You did indeed. (laughs) So Pokemania Weekly, where we talk about what we've been up to this week. What have you been doing, Rick? Lots of Pokemon related things. Oh yeah? As per usual. For example, this week, again, I've been reading more manga. I've been doing that. I've also been going through watching all the old uh, Pokemon episodes. Me and James, I've been spending a lot, uh, just quickly, I've been spending a lot of time looking and on forums and stuff about the new game. With a new announced Generation 6 Pokemon X and Y. Yep. Adding things to forums, putting in um, putting in suggestions of what might be coming, what the new Pokemon might be like. All these co- more I'll talk more about that later in sections if it comes up. Yeah, I'm sure I it don't will. know. Um, that's what I've been doing. I've also been playing um, Black and White 2 because if I'm right in thinking you're no longer avail- avail- uh, able to get Keldeo no it's ended now oh no but that uh, is to make way for new Pokemon is it not 
yes. coming soon. Yes. Which we'll talk about again later. Maybe it'll come up, maybe it won't. So I, I got I got my Keldeo. Oh, did well, you? I had that before, but yeah. yeah. Oh, and right. I've been playing with it. Watering one off. All what, um, what level did it come out? 50. 50? That's annoying, because the Keldeo that I got for um, Pokemon Black 1 was only level 50. you can't get it on Pokemon Black. You can't get that po- Keldeo on Pokemon Black. You have to get it on po- Black and White too. True. But, um, yeah, so the, well, the latest one they've released was level 50, was it? For Black and White too. Ah. So I've got a level 15 Keldeo. Train it up then. Yeah, I will, but I've not got around to it Just yet. means you get more um, satisfaction out of your Keldeo. So this week, uh, obviously I've been on the Victory Road, but yeah, I've also... Indeed. Uh, I actually haven't played the trading card game online once <laughs> in the last two weeks. Whoa! I've, uh, Lol been... Pony taking up too much of your time? <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. Um, <laughs> we've, I've, uh, I've been playing Pokemon Emerald. Yeah, you have. Yeah, I'm loving it. Getting me, it's that, one of my getting me that Mew ones. and Deoxys that you keep telling me that... I, I can, can have yeah I can try and get you a, get you a Mew get me a Mew man I know I like to keep you waiting though because oh. you're not you're not far off finishing it no I'm not <laughs> that's why I want that Mew and Deoxys yeah. uh, no Pokemon Emerald is uh, probably one of my favourite of the Pokemon games I like that generation what Ruby and Sapphire yeah I'd say that was the weakest in my opinion really yeah no, I like it because uh, well it's not the the weakest is perhaps not the best way to describe it. My well, least favourite of all the generations. Okay. Would you like them in descending order? Yeah, go on then. So, my favourite, standard, red and blue. Generation one, of okay. course. You, c- you can't not be. My second favourite, gold and silver. Right. Wicked games. My third favourite would be uh, black and white. Okay. My fourth favourite would be diamond and pearl. And then my last favourite would be uh, really yeah ruby and sapphire oh, what what are, you, what are your guys what are you uh what's your favorite generation and why tweet in we'll see how uh generation six comes in that yeah mm. lots to talk about lots to talk i think black and white have been my favorite because we started doing this show about the same time as black and white came out so i wouldn't say i got more into pokemon but i definitely became more vocal about pokemon yeah about that time so that's why I really enjoy black and white, because there's lots to talk about. There is. There is lots and to talk about. I have spoken a lot about black and white, and I enjoy it. So there you go. Uh, but you didn't enjoy Ruby and Sapphire. Well, I did enjoy it, but I found that... The, I have this thing in my head that Ruby, when I was playing through Ruby and Sapphire last, um, I got me a Groudon, Cool yeah. Beans, um, and I was playing through them, and the thing that annoys me was the I always see I don't know whether it was just my experience of the game but every time I got confused it was just the worst thing really yeah oh it just kept getting hurting myself okay fair enough and so that, that's why that gets frustrating after a while okay I can see why I can see why right time for us to move on is it it is indeed let's do it let's move on to oh, some news why don't you oh. mention what you're going to do today as well the other thing you're going to do on the show today yeah well do want, should we do that now then let's do that now so um you can announce this rick i don't know what you're talking about we're going to take a picture aren't we for are facebook. we yeah is it a valentine's day picture we're going to take a, a picture for uh for facebook so we can try and get these pokemon tattoos soon. ah uh, yes our pokemon tattoo quest yes um we've basically we've been told by professor oak himself <laughs> That we can't do it unless su- sufficient amount of people think it's a good idea. Okay. So, like we've said, if we get a thousand Facebook followers, yeah, and a thousand Facebook likes, yeah, no, a thousand Twitter followers and a thousand Facebook likes, then we'll do it. Yeah. That hasn't happened yet. No. Not yet. We're close. So we're going to take a photo in one of those. Really, you know how people take photos on the internet and put them on Facebook with those weird cardboard signs, and they never seem to be cut out correctly. No, that annoys me. And they're always really, um, they're always strange requests as yeah. well. Like, like if I get a million likes, my wife will let me name our baby uh, Victini. Yeah. Well, I would like that. I definitely <laughs> like that. I would. Garados would be a better name because then they could be like, "Oh yeah, my name's Gary." 
Uh, but really, on my birth certificate, my name's If my name was Garados, there's no way I'd introduce myself as Gary. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably slap you yeah. if I tried to call me Gary. So anyway, we're going we're gonna to take a picture um, say, so that we can get these Pokemon tattoos on Facebook. So that will be around on Facebook. We're going to take it during the show, so you'll see it happen on the webcam uh, at some point stuff. during the show. Uh, mm-hmm. And you'll see it knocking around on Facebook. Um, so if you could hit like, that would be very and then helpful. get all your friends to hit like. Because we really want to get these tattoos. And then get all of your friends friends to hit like and then hopefully we'll get these tattoos and their friends and their friends and maybe even people you don't like just get them to hit like anyway (laughs) um (laughs) quickly we had a tweet from say springfield uh, we saying um that they they like uh, pokemon platinum better than diamond and pearl well yeah um that's good because i like pokemon yellow better than i like pokemon red and blue and i like emerald better than ruby and sapphire oh does everybody feel that way? Does everybody feel the, the third one? Do you like Pokemon Black and White 2 better than you like Pokemon Black and White? I haven't played Black and White 2 yet. Oh, it's because you're an idiot, yeah. It's because you've been spending too much time in Victory Road. Exactly. Oh, we have to move on. We've got so we much news it. to talk about. Let's start. Um, start the news. Would you like to do this one? Because I know you're excited about this. Uh... Yeah, I do. Yeah, I especially do. like the name. Here we go. This is fun. Uh, February's Koro Koro cover, that's a magazine if you don't know, has just leaked, revealing a brand... Well, it's not just leaked. It happened a, a couple of... What? A couple of days ago? The yeah, leakage. a couple of days ago, yeah. A couple of days ago leaked, and now Pokemon have put a lot more about it up. But revealing a brand new Eevee evolution, or an evolution, if you will, named Sylveon. Now, this, I know James will be happy about this, because he's already got a team of Eevees. He has. So now he's got another one to choose from. It's named Sylveon, and that's funny because Sylvia is my favourite name. <laughs> uh, okay. It's type... Uh, yeah, and its, it's type and method of evolution were not revealed yet. But we do know that it's one metre high and weighs 23.5 kilograms, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Are you, Nate? I am. Yeah, you are. Its name follows along the same conventions of, like, um, Glaceon and Leafeon, or in the Japanese, Glacia and Leafia. Since Eevee is getting a new evolution this generation, other older Pokemon may get new evolutions again too. Because they didn't do that in black and white, did they? No, they, they didn't. They were all new ones, they but were. now they've done a new um, Eevee I do have evolution. a picture for you guys uh, from the Koro Koro magazine. Uh, there it is. That's uh, on the right-hand side, well, on the left-hand side. The, uh, that's the new Eevee evolution, Sylveon. There's a lot to talk about with this Pokemon. For example, what type is it? It's pink. See, I immediately saw it and thought, it looks a bit similar in colour to Pokemon like Chansey, Wigglytuff, Clefable. So it, it's Lissy. very, it does look very normal. So it looks a bit normal type right there. But why would they bring another normal type? They've already got Eevee. Good point, good point. Um, but I mean, like, obviously Eevee is slightly lesser in stats than the... Um, other ones Sylveon we don't know obviously we're assuming maybe it'll be a stone maybe it'll be a new type of stone that you'd use to evolve it of, with, with uh, Leafeon and Glaceon you had to take them to special areas so that could be how you do it um, I, I'm, I'm also, we do have a short video on this oh, we, do we can play. carry on talking because there isn't any sound to this video No, but um, you guys will be able to see it uh, on your webcam now that's playing we got this from Pokemon yeah. the website Pokemon um, there he is so well, there she is, I assume. I don't know what gender it is. On, um, With a name now, also, Sylveon. the thing that's pointing at normal for me, yeah. uh, it's wearing a pink bow. Um, if you look at pink bow on Bullwipedia or something like that, a pink bow um, boosts the attack of normal type moves. Look at the cool moves it's doing. So, uh, that looks like Swift. Take that, Crocodile. Oh, so, uh, yeah, the fact that... Um, yeah, it's wearing the a fact that it's wearing a pink bow suggests the boost normal type moves suggests that it could be... Uh, normal type move. Is it just me, or have you seen its eyes? I have seen its eyes. They look a little bit buggy to me. Do you think? Yeah. yeah and and there's, there's those things flapping about it that make that suggest in some way that it's flying type. Yeah. This, these are all things that I've read on forums and stuff like that about the Pokemon. What do you think? There are. There is the whole other thing as well that maybe it's a new type. Oh, okay. Uh, Luke, and, Luke and Gengar's got a good theory. Um, he tweets in saying, um, "I'm thinking the new evolution will be will be evolved via beauty, like melodic." Um, and he still also sent the link to that video we just played. So, oh, could be could beauty. be a new evolution because not any of the evolutions evolve through beauty yet, do they? No, no. Hmm. 
So that's interesting. Indeed. I wonder what, how strong it'll be or how... But then again, yeah, everybody's saying that maybe it'll be the new types. Yeah, it could maybe be. it'll be a new, be type. new type. And there's lots of discussion about what the new types are. But again, we'll talk about that later because maybe it'll come up. Maybe it will. I maybe don't it know will. for certain, but there it goes. Sylveon. With a name like Sylveon, you'd assume it's going to be female, wouldn't you? Sylvia. It's yeah, it name. looks quite feminine as well. It does. Uh... Don't so get carried away, Nate. You'd know about that, now, wouldn't you, Nate? <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to rise to this. Right. <laughs> uh, so we have some more news. Yeah, we do! Uh, again, Koro Koro Magazine. I love this magazine because they, um, they're always bringing out more news on Pokemon. Uh, they're always accidentally leaking things. They've revealed that uh, Genesect and Genesect EX from the Megalo Cannon, both grass types are no uh, Genesect bugs typing. Um, the regular Genesect will be a promo included in next month's Koro Koro. Uh, expected, it's, it's expected to be the Keldeo EX killer um, is what they're saying so uh, I do have an image of the card for you guys uh, there it is that looks cool yeah it oh does wait look no cool. that's not the, oh, the the green thing's the card yeah the green thing's the card that, yeah. that's the um... that's, uh, that's a picture of uh, Genesect EX I do have a translation for you which I will read out right now um, it's uh, grass type has 170 HP basic Pokemon ability red signal when you attach a plasma energy to this Pokemon from your hand you may switch your opponent's active Pokemon with, with, with one of his or her bench Pokemon pretty cool um the Megalo Cannon, which is its attack, uh, requires uh, two grass energies and one colourless energy. Does 100 damage, does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance. Uh, and its weakness is fire. Resistance is no, it hasn't got any resistance. It's only one retreat cost. Not a bad little um, EX card there. Uh, it definitely will get, be. Get your Charizards out to take it down. Yeah, uh, definitely will be the Keldeo EX killer, which is the big card at the minute. Everyone's using Keldeo. Um, but obviously, Keldeo's weakness is grass, which is what Genesect is. It's only 100 HP, though. 170 HP. We're talking about the EX. Genesect oh, right, EX. my bad. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I wasn't listening to you. That's fine, don't worry. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, looking forward to that card. Should be you're going to love that, aren't you? Yeah, it should be a good one. You're going to get it and you're going to use it? Um, yeah, I think so, because Cal if Keldeo stays as big as um, it is at the minute, I uh, will definitely be using it. Yeah, but there's the new expansion in it there, so who knows what card okay. might be big. Lugia maker. Um, I'm going to ask you, Rick. Are you? I, I'm going to ask you a favour. Please, can I read out this next news, because it is my favourite. Yeah. Out of all the news. I'll let you. Uh, actually, Ryan Maloney has just tweeted about it just as we're about to get into it as well, so good timing. Um, the new Genesect movie um, that was originally named Extreme Speed Genesect has now been renamed to Extreme, G Extreme Speed Genesect and Mewtwo's Awakening. <gasps> My favourite Pokemon. So um, In a yeah. movie, again! A movie. Yeah, Mewtwo is making uh, yet yeah, another announcement. An uh, appearance, sorry. Another appearance. Hello. And there he is. There's a picture from Koro Koro Magazine with Mewtwo doing his thing. Yeah, there is. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, obviously, um, it's rumoured that it's going to be... Uh, Mewtwo is Team Rocket's creation. Uh, Genesect Team Plasma's. So um, it's kind of Team Plasma's creation against Team Rocket's. Well, p Team Rocket always seemed to be a bit more blundering than Team Plasma. True. So... But then again, Mewtwo is pretty awesome. He is. He's the pretty awesome. The best Pokemon. All right, calm um, down. Yeah, so uh, at the end of Mewtwo Returns, uh, Mewtwo retreated to um, a city. I, for I forgot the name of the city, though. I can't remember. Um, so it, it's rumoured that it could be the same city Genesect and its crew are terrorising, which hence the awakening of Mewtwo. What, has he been asleep? Yeah, and if Mewtwo returns, he disappeared. Yeah, he disappeared, but it doesn't mean he was sleep. asleep. He just went to sleep. Yeah, he just went to sleep. Oh, man. So, um, yeah, I do have a trailer for the new movie talking about this. Yeah, so, you do. Um, it's in Japanese. It though, is in it? Japanese, but uh, nonetheless, enjoy. Here we go. So yeah, there we go. My favourite bit was at the end of that, the Pikachu and uh, Eevee. She's like, hello! Yeah, 
Standard. It looks good though. Ginosec looks, looks pretty awesome. And I'm not gonna red. lie. It's always purple. It's a yeah. That's a shiny, shiny oh, yeah. Ginosec. Shiny Ginosec using extreme speed. The only bit I got from the Japanese there was extreme, <laughs> which might be extreme speed. <laughs> Um, That's the only bit I understood. Yeah, so uh, I'm really excited about the uh, Mewtwo's appearance. We haven't seen anything. Uh, it doesn't appear in any of the teaser trailers yet, but I'm sure he will do. Well, if you're re renaming a movie and then adding Mewtwo's Awakening... It's going to be good. It's going to be in it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you'd hope. <laughs> Otherwise, this is a terrible movie title. <laughs> um, guys, just to go on some of the Twitter things coming in, Luke and Gengar saying, he thought Nate's favourite Pokemon was Beedrill. Yeah, an extreme, be uh, extreme speed Genesect and the Awakening of Beedrill. That's a whole new film right there. <laughs> that is a <laughs> sweet film. I love that. Like good it's idea. Legendary Pokemon against Beedrill. <laughs> I do like Beedrill. Don't get me wrong, but Mewtwo is hands down my favourite Pokemon. Hands we're, down what? Uh, we're also getting in some really cool pictures. Say Springfield's um, tweeting in. So I check. Check it out. I did. I did. I checked them out. We'll I'm leave them to the end. Tweets as well. So anyone who uh, anyone who's following our Twitter, just uh, check them out. Um, yeah, yeah, please do. Continue tweeting and all that. Jazz. We can um, we can retweet that. Oh, we have done. Yeah, good work. Um, yeah, I can try and get that image up on the webcam later on in the show. Um, ah, I, Ryan Maloney says yeah, in Re I mean, Mewtwo returns. He didn't go to sleep. He just roams around since Ash, Bristy, and Mark are the only one who knows about him. A Ash Bristy, Ash Misty. Oh, okay. Who's Bristy? Why would you say that, Nate? <laughs> I don't know. Why, why would I say that? <laughs> <laughs> you crazy fella. Um, indeed, I'm. I'm going on to my what, what? What am I doing? I'm on the forum right now. I'm, I'm saying on the forum. I'm gonna. I'm gonna write an update because people are in there. Ooh. Well, one person's in there. Yeah, it's on the uh, on our new website, PokemaniaFM.com. Indeed, FM. in our forum. Good work. Uh, we do have some more news. Do you want to do this, or do you want me to do it? Uh, yeah, you go for it, Nate. Okay. Uh, so, in other news, Pokemon have announced a new Pokemon TV, iOS, and Android app, which will be able, which will allow you to watch Pokemon episodes that have been uploaded to Pokemon.com's Pokemon TV database. While not all the episodes from um, every season are available, because that is a lot of episodes, uh, they've promised to release new ones each week. Uh, with the release of this app, newer fans will be able to catch up on 14 years of Pokemon episodes more easily. Uh, and they've um, there's rumours, well, there's, there's saying that they're going to release special episodes on, on the app. Uh, they won't be on TV, they'll just be on the app. So uh, definitely worth checking out. The app's free as well. You can um, get it on the Google Play Store, or if you're on Apple iOS, you can get it on the App Store uh, for free. Um, you got it, didn't you, James? You've, you've had oh, a player with it. it. Yeah. It's well, good. Actually, it looks really good. The, um, we've got the promo video for it on our new website. Really? Uh, it's, a it's our featured video this week. Oh, fantastic. Um, well, uh, I will tell you as well, um, the app's going to host these special screening events. Starting Friday, tomorrow, you can watch the premiere of Melotta's Moonlight Serenade, as well as Curium and the versus the Sword of Justice. So they will be uploaded to the app on Friday. So uh, make sure you get that app and check them out. Uh, I do have a trailer for you guys to right here. You, you're all about the trailers today, so, um, mate. Here we go. There we go. Looks good, doesn't it? Sorry, I started speaking while that was on. That's I didn't right, realise that you hadn't turned us off live. Um, yeah, it looks good. I'm, uh, I'm going to get that app. I know James has been using it today. He said it's really good. So, uh, yeah, check that out. So, what do you think? To what? To Sorry. the app. Bring in Pokemon to... Yeah, it's on, wicked. On it, demand. It's I think it's... It's cool. I mean, it's better than going... Now, well... There it is. It's, it's somewhere that Pokemon have put it so you can watch it. You don't have to go on the internet and search it down and just go. Just get on your phone. You, you it, can, I can watch Pokemon episodes on my phone. I know. I think uh, bringing the Pokemon uh, on demand, uh, the episodes on demand, is going to bring it's it to gonna a It's going to do wonders audience. for my battery life. <laughs> and my love life. Yeah. And, and my work life. 
and every life aspect of life. Yeah. It's a good job that my job is to host a Pokemon radio show, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Say so Springfield's uh, tweet, tweeted in again um, with another Pokemon image that looks amazing. It's uh, some concept art of Charizard and Pikachu. We again, will... we're going to put up, we're going to put it up in the fan section that you already said about. Yes, we are. That's but, what um, we're going to do. I'm also going to retweet it as well because it's for you that guys to check cool. out. It does look good. Thank you um, for sending that in. I think it's time to move on because we've got another section to do really quickly and there's a song that needs to be played and all that kind of thing so we'll head on next um, the next song that we're going to play again taking Pokemon making it are you going to make sure that it, it it'll just play and then it won't I'm sorry I'm yep. talking nonsense now but um, it's by it's, it's a new Valentine's Day song oh it is. we're nice like that it and it's by uh, the Elite Four member Bruno <laughs> Mars and it's when I was your Hitmonchan hmm yes Same bear, but it feels just a little bit bigger now Our song on the radio, but it don't sound the same When our friends talk about you, all it does is just tear me down Cause my heart breaks a little when I hear your name It all just sounds like Flowers and held your hand. Should have gave you all my hours when I had the chance. Take you to every party, cause all you wanted to do was dance. Now my baby's dancing, but she's dancing with another man. My selfish ways Caused a good strong woman like you to walk out my life Now I never, never get to clean up the mess I made oh, And that haunts me every time I close my eyes It all just sounds like ooh. Everybody, it's time for the. Po yeah, I do know what that means. Just that was Elite Four Bruno Mars. It was <laughs> <laughs> Elite Four Bruno Mars. Uh, it's the Poke Essentials time. It's uh, a, 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 a section where I'm going to break down some Pokemon knowledge for you guys. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm in this Pokemon forum talking to people. Yeah. If uh, if you uh, head over to Pokemania FM dot com. Um, <laughs> 
Sorry, head, head over to the forum, sign up, make a quick quick account, and then you can uh, talk to us join whenever us. you want, because yeah. that's what we'll be doing. Anyway, get on with Poker Essentials, because Nate's informed me I have very little time to talk to you about this week's Poker Essentials, which is, in honour of Valentine's Day, <laughs> Pokemon breeding! Mm, Seems logical. That's weird. Pokemon breeding. Well... Now, of course, I'm talking about Pokemon breeding in the game. I'm not talking about some weird kind of website. Calm down, Nate. <laughs> so, Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon breeding is a method of obtaining new Pokemon by producing and hatching an egg. Okay, a little bit like an animal. Obviously, yeah. And this involves going to our good old friends at the Pokemon Daycare Center. That, that couple in the Pokemon Daycare Center, depending on what generation you're in uh this is only doable from generation two onwards so the gold and silver games onwards you can't do it in the generation one because of course uh in red and blue there's only one person and you can only put one pokemon in at a time yeah from then onwards you can put two pokemon in so obviously there's a chance to breed oh. and, am i right in saying the breeding yeah um well the breeding requires two pokemon you are right in saying it. what i'm saying is take that yeah yeah section. i know i know i know <laughs> Crazy man. So um, when you breed Pokemon, it, it's, it all comes down to uh, science. There's, yeah, it? there's so a lot there of science it. involved, as in, well, you know, as you'd expect. So, as, like I've said, you leave two different Pokemon at the um, daycare center. Now, not every Pokemon can breed with every Pokemon. That would be insane. It would. Like, for example, Mewtwo can't breed with um Bonfan. Anyone. no or anyone yeah <laughs> but we'll come more to that later now breeding rates are a different thing um so there's there's a percentage chance that you can breed a pokemon with another pokemon and sometimes a lot of the time that percent is zero but here is what they are now when you put two pokemon in if you put um a pokemon of the same species in um so like two pikachus in uh, the chance of getting an egg with different ID numbers, so the Pokemon ID number, the chance of getting an egg is um, roughly 70%. Um, and the old daycare man will tell you at that point that the two seem to be getting along very well. Okay. That's a good sign. That's when good somebody sign. says that about two people, there's, there's a good. That means or love Pokemon. is in the air. Yeah. Or Pokemon. Any, okay. About anything. Okay. These two batteries seem to be getting along very well. Normally good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you put two Pokemon of the same species but have the same ID number, the chance of getting an egg is roughly 50%. And the uh, old man at the daycare center will say, the two seem to be getting along. Again, okay. good. 50% isn't bad. Um, if you put two Pokemon of different species uh, with different IDs, again, the chance of getting an egg is 50%, and it, will, and it will say the two seem to be getting along. If you put two Pokemon of different species and the same ID numbers... Then the chance of getting an egg is only 20%. And the old man in the daycare will say, the two don't seem to like each other. But regardless of whether they like each other or not, whether you think they do, there is still a chance that you can get that egg. 20% of a chance, to be precise. Now, um, what, what will happen then is, uh, when, two, when there are two compatible Pokemon in the daycare centre, for every 255 steps that the player takes, the game will decide whether the old man has found an egg. Um, so for every 255 steps you take, if you've got two Pokemon of the same species in, uh, you've got a 70% uh, chance of getting an egg. And that's what's called an egg cycle. So you, you've got to go wandering around. You can't can just leave them in and expect to get an egg really quickly. That would be insane. That, will, that won't happen. Um, so you've got to go wandering around and then you'll have an 80% chance. Obviously, with the 20% chance, you might have to go wandering around for a while. This can be sped up by getting on your bike and cycling around on your bike. Like a madman. Like you would. Uh, that will speed up the amount of time it takes for you to get those 255 steps um, to get your egg cycle. Uh, this is changed differently with certain things like uh, if, if the Pokemon inside the egg has... Uh, flame body then the egg gets heated quicker and every egg cycle counts for two but that's you'd have to read more into that um and only certain pokemon have it like mag cargo and things like that so that won't affect you that much egg groups are another thing that we need to talk about not every pokemon can breed with every pokemon say for example um honkrow and Wigglytuff won't be able to breed together because they're two different egg groups what are egg groups i hear you asking well egg groups are um a group given uh, to a Pokemon which determines which Pokemon it can breed with. Now, normally Pokemon in the same egg groups 
uh, will be able to breed together but Pokemon in different egg groups won't. There are 15 types. Uh, there's a lot of them to go through. There's like humanoid, monster, water, water two, grass, bug, uh, fairy, loads of things, indeterminate, um, ditto egg group. Ditto has, his own egg, has its own egg group because everybody knows that you can breed anything with ditto apart from legendaries. Now, the big one is the, the egg group that you can't breed with, and that's m most legendaries all legendaries, apart from Manaphy maybe, fall under that category. So any le like Mewtwo, your Groudon, your Kyogre, they fall into that category so you won't be able to breed them. Now what is the science of this? Um, when it comes down to the, the, which, which Pokemon is of which gender. Um, so when you put a Pokemon in the uh, daycare center, which Pokemon you get depends on the gender of the two Pokemon you've got in there. So for example, if you went in and you t put two Pokemon of the same um, family, like you, you went with an Electivire and Electabuzz, you get an Elekid. Whereas if you went with um, the same group, but different Pokemon, so you went with like, I don't know, uh, a Luxio and a Bibarel, then the female one is the offspring that you get. So if the female was a Bibarel, you'd get a Bidoof. If the female was a Luxio, you'd get um, the one before Luxio. It makes sense. Shinx. That's, that's it. So you want your females to be the one that you, type you get. Of course, that changes if you put a Ditto in. So you put like a male Garchomp in, you'll get a, a Gibble. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Do you understand that? Now, breeding is important because the best... It's, it's good for you to get more Pokemon. For example, things like Pikachu. You need to, you need to breed to get Pichu. Sure. Do you not? Yeah. yeah. Um, but also, what happens when you breed is you can get egg groups... Uh, not egg groups. Um, moves. Moves. Move sets. Yeah. Uh, so, for example, a female Charizard that has um, Flamethrower, when it breeds, there's a chance that it will pass down the egg move Flamethrower to the offspring. To the Charmander. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's scratch, growl, and flamethrower kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, um, and then that also makes sense with things like uh, natures. Now, if you don't know what natures are, uh, natures are certain little quirks that a Pokemon has that affects its stats or its um, just affects the Pokemon in certain ways. And yep. there are some very good natures out there that some that affect the way you EV train a Pokemon as well. Yep. Um, so to do that you need to breed the two Pokemon together to get uh, the nature that you wish. And of course, there's n it's not always certain that you'll get that Pokemon no. with the nature. So there, there can be multiple breedings going on. Um, and it also does affect with abilities and things like that. So if a Pokemon has an ability, it will most more than probably pass on the next abil the ability to its um, offspring. So when you are breeding, there are lots of things that you need to take into account with the uh, natures you can use an everstone can't you you can there are certain items the nature on, yeah. so if you were to give um, if you had a nido queen with the nature that you wanted like hasty nature yeah and you wanted to pass that down you'd give it the everstone and it has a hundred percent chance yeah. to pass that nature down in generation five yeah. yeah so that's very helpful things like that thank you nate that's all right you've been learning about your breeding i do it's i know a little bit about breeding it's a, it's a quite a an in-depth science. It is. There's a lot to think about when doing it. And especially with moves as well. There are, there are certain moves that um, Pokemon can only get by breeding. Yeah. And this, there's loads of moves. So you need to, what you need to do is you need to find the Pokemon you want. Go onto a website called, and this is where I'm getting my information, by, by the way. Always credit your sources. Bulbapedia. The fantastic Bulbapedia. Or Cerebi.net. There are other places, but these are the two that I'd recommend. Go along, find the Pokemon you want, and find, its, find the egg moves. Um because you can get some really cool moves. Uh, the big one is like Pikachu. If you give it an item, uh, then when you breed it, the Pichu will get Volt Tackle, which is a cool move. Um, and these moves not, won't be available to the Pokemon unless you breed them well. So breeding is a massive thing in the Pokemon world. And you need to d know what you're doing when you try it. H I hope I haven't confused everybody too much. I confused no. myself. No, I think you did, you did a good job of that. But how weird is Pokemon breeding? Yeah. It's, it's the most complex thing in the game. It's more um, complicated than EV training. We had a tweet from, say, Springfield, just saying, uh, I did some breeding last night. Um, Ditto and Bibarel, and now they have 30 Bidoofs. Wow, that's... <laughs> that's, a <lot. laughs> that's a lot of Bidoof right there. <laughs> oh, they are breeding like Bidoof. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Should we move on to my next section? I'd love to. Pokemon of the week. 
There's a lot of me talking right now. That's fine. <laughs> this is my Pokemon of the week. A Pokemon that I have deemed worthy enough to tell you about. Okay. All Pokemon are worthy enough for me to tell you about, but this, in a battling sense, is worthy enough for me to tell you about. And my Pokemon of the week this week, I thought I'd gone with a, go with a normal Pokemon. Oh, yeah? Interesting because of some of the rumours that I've heard about the normal type and whether or not it will be scrapped in the new um, generation. I don't think so. You, you don't think so? I'm not sure either. Um, so... I've gone with a normal type, but it's also dual type, so it's a normal flying type, and it's an interesting Pokemon, and it's a Valentine's Day related Pokemon. It is, of course, L Togekiss. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a love disc or anything like that. I, uh, I'm not even going to say that was funny. Uh, uh, it is Togekiss. There is Togekiss. Look at it. It looks pretty happy. Weird little thing, isn't it? And of course, Togekiss evolves from Togepi and Togetic. Uh, you need to evolve your Togekiss with a stiny, shiny stone. You need to give, uh, you need to use the shiny stone on your Togetic to get your Togekiss, and it is the second little along the line of the evolution. And of course, um, the Togepi is that little egg thing, isn't it? So that's where that's why it looks a bit eggish, but a flying egg. Not the strongest looking Pokemon. Looks quite, you know, mm, interesting. Yeah. But. It has some definite advantages to it. Now, um, let's have a look at some of its stats. Stats are always a good thing to look at when you're picking your Pokemon. It's base stats, of course. That's when it's level one, the base stats of the Pokemon. Yeah. HP 85, not great. Attack 50, still not brilliant. Not brilliant at all, in fact, especially for a flying Pokemon. No. Uh, defense 95, so-so. Uh, special defense 115 that's really good speed 80 now for flying they normally have quite a high speed don't they flying Pokemon yeah yeah this one's not brilliant but it's special attack is 120 it's, that's quite a big um, it's quite a big stat to have 120 it means you're going to get about 170 when you fully EV train in special attack now of course special attack means you can only be using uh, special moves now Togetic is a weird one because it doesn't actually learn any moves um, by leveling up. So what you need to do is you need to have a look at... Uh, Togekiss doesn't actually learn any moves by leveling up. So you need to have a look at Togetic's moves that it can learn um, when figuring out what moves you want to keep it. Because when you evolve it, it won't actually learn any more moves, which is a weird pain. But some of the moves it can learn... Um, interesting moves, the special moves you've got your... Uh, it learned, the reason I've gone for it is it's because it's a very status inflicting and it's very a tactical Pokemon. Like it has moves like Wish, which um, one turn after this move is used, the target's HP is restored by half the user's maximum HP. That's cool. Safeguard it creates a protective field that prevents status problems for five turns. Uh, Baton Pass, the user switches part, uh, places with a party Pokemon in waiting, passing along any stat changes. So what you can do is you can send it out there have your big special defense, absorb some damage, stat yourself up, bat on pass, bring out a big Pokemon, that, and then it will take all your stat increases. Ah, okay. So you can be using moves like, um, you, you know, like, like uh, a f one can't, won't go into my head at this precise moment in time, but you know, it's moves that increase your attack and your special attack. Sure. And then swap them around and that Pokemon will have them. It does learn Ancient Power, which is a rock move. Um, after you and things like that, what I would do is I would teach it like a nice aero blast uh, if you can. Um, so it, so it has that big special attack. Yeah. And the same type attack bonus. Your stab, as it's called, same type attack bonus. We went over this last week. Okay, I wasn't here. So because it's normal <laughs> and flying, any I know I'm aware. Because <laughs> uh, it's normal and flying, flying you can. Um, you'll get the same type attack bonuses from any normal and flying type moves. It. It's resistance is, uh, it's all right, rock. As long as you're not going against a rock, uh, electric, or an ice Pokemon, you should do all right. A ghost does no damage to it, because of obviously because of its normal type. Bug, 0.5 damage. Grass, 0.5 damage. Interesting stuff. Um, I did like, uh, we'll have a look at some of its abilities now. And now I do like this ability. Um, it's got some quite cool abilities. The first one in its first uh, ability slot is Hustle. And that means that damage from physical attacks is 1.5 times. But the average accuracy is only 80%. So that's good if you know you... Um, 
So that's that's good if you know you're coming against like a special Pokemon with a load of special attacks because yeah. you've got your high special defense. Yeah. It won't get the one point time five times for the attack. Uh, but its accuracy will be reduced to 80%. That's cool. It's quite nice, isn't it? Obviously, if you're coming against your high attack Pokemon, that won't be great because then yeah. it'll smash you up. It will. Um, but again, if, you, if you're against your Mewtwo, interesting uh, ability to have. The next one is Serene Grace uh, in your second ability slot. And that is the chances of a move having an effect doubles. So like, like the good one. Burn moves would double if you had any move that caused burns the yeah. chances of that would double okay. which is interesting and bite chances of causing it to flinch would double yeah could be that can be quite good um but then the hidden that, ability that work with confusion as well i think so yeah uh, and then with the hidden ability is super luck super luck is a great ability and it raises the critical hit ratio of moves oh so you've got brilliant. more chance to critical hit and obviously critical hitting is where it's yeah. at if you're critical hitting on everybody it's quite cool now some of its moves are really cool um, so you, you'll be using that in a. Uh, you'll be you'll be using it as a kind of. What's the word I'm looking for? Tactic. You need to be tactical when yeah, using yeah. it. But it does uh, learn Sky Attack, which is massive flying move. But unfortunately, it's physical, which is a bit yeah. annoying. Um, a second turn attack where critical hits land more easily. Now, of course, if you've also got your. Um, uh, super luck then you're going to be critically critical hitting a lot of the time and especially with the attack of 140 you could be doing a lot of damage there it may also make the target flinch so if you had serene grace that would help as well because uh, the chance of it having effect doubles so either serene grace or super luck as your ability there will help the move sky attack okay fair enough interesting things to happen there um and tokakiss is quite a funny pokemon it looks a bit weird it was um, I think was he? Uh, it wasn't Togepi the only um, Pokemon to appear in the first season of the TV series as well that wasn't a Generation One Pokemon. That and Ho-Oh. Uh, see, there we go. I was going to open yeah, it up yeah. to everybody no, to no. say which other Pokemon yeah, was it. Yeah. But yes, it was in the first 100. It was in the first series, but it wasn't in the first 151. Ah, uh, I thought so. Which is weird. But obviously, they wanted to put it in because they knew it'd be such a big hit. See, at the minute, I'm on, I'm on my playthrough through Heart Gold as well at the minute. Um, you get given one, don't you? From that, I've got a toga tick at the minute. From that man, what's his name? I can't remember. You get given a, it like, he's a Pokemon, I can't remember, he's weird, and then Professor Oak sends you up to him and he gives him yeah, an egg, and yeah. then you go back and you're like, oh, an egg! What is this madness? It was an introduction into uh, breeding, which we covered earlier. Yes, we did. So my Pokemon of the week is our, our good friend, Togekiss. Flying normal. It's a good Pokemon. I haven't. I don't think I've actually done a flying Pokemon. That's why I picked it. Really? Yeah. And it can learn a lot of TMs as well. A lot of very useful TMs. So I recommend having a look at them. A fly, of course. Flies are good. TM to teach anybody, and it's useful in battle. Do you think? Yep. I'm, I don't know. I'm against using HMs on decent mm. Pokemon. Talking about uh, egg moves, which I spoke about earlier. Now there are quite a few egg moves that are, that. Um, Togetic can learn. Present, Mirror Move, Peck, Foresight, Future Sight, Nasty Plot, Psycho Shift, which is the best named Pokemon move ever. <laughs> Lucky Chan, Extra Sensory, Secret Power, good one, Normal Attack, uh, Stored Power, and Morning Sun. The user restores its own HP. The amount of HP regained varies with the weather. Uh, we just had a tweet from Ryan, Malo Ryan Maloney about appearances of Pokemon. He said, uh, Orange Island, Electrokid, and Maril made appearances as well, apparently. Mm. Didn't know that. But Orange Island was the second series of Pokemon. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. But yeah, that was. But it was before the before, second generation yeah. was uh, brought out. That's cool. See? So that was my Pokemon of the week. And now we're going to move on to a section that I know we all love. I know you love. One that you haven't taken part in a no. while ago, and one that the tables were turned on me last week, and I had to take part in rather than being the usual quiz master. Now we're going to try something out. Can you leave that there, please? Uh, but it, this is. It's time to test your knowledge in the Pokemon quiz. quiz. The Pokemon quiz. Yes. Are you ready for this, Nate? I am. Do you want me to leave this like this? No, I've actually realised that what I've just asked of you was the most ridiculous thing okay. I could have done. Um, so what I'm going to try to do... I'm going to move over there, so keep talking. You please, you please do that. What I'm going to try to do this week is I'm going to try to post the questions as I'm asking them on Twitter. 
we'll see how well this goes because my internet's quite slow on this machine here and apparently I've got to 11 minutes past to do this so I better get on with it. Does somebody want to go and get uh, Mr. James Mr. James Plester? Um, so the, the quiz is, I've, I've come up with some some questions that are usually quite evil and uh, not many people know. This week I've thrown a few interesting ones in and a few quite easy ones. One that I think Nate should get. Just, just one because that Nate will get. On, in his, in his, on his first, one. Yeah, on his first debut back, we can't have him. Um, we can't have him getting all the questions wrong, can we? That'd be harsh, especially on Valentine's Day. He might cry. So, you ready to kick off the quiz? Yeah, I'm we, ready. Taking part in the quiz, we have introduce yourself, guys. Hi, Hi. I, I'm uh, I'm James. <laughs> cool trainer, James. We have. I'm a Dragon Tamer Nate. Dragon Tamer Nate, and we also have you. Emma. I don't have a microphone. <laughs> uh, Emma. <laughs> and we have Emma. So, without further ado, let's kick it off. Question number one, and I'm now putting it on Twitter. Oh, I can't because it's got too many characters in it. Oh. I'll take away that and tweet it. Boom. Question number one. What was the name of the female Meowth, Team Rocket's Meowth, tried to impress by learning to talk in the anime episode Go West Meowth oh, oh, that is difficult I, that is... I know but what is the name of the female Meowth now I'll give you a quick hint I've put that on Twitter I've tweeted successfully everybody uh, <laughs> um, I'll give you a hint the name of the Pokemon is in the Pokemon's name so what was the name uh, sorry, somebody just sent in a caption contest. Uh, what was the name of the Pokemon, the Meowth, that Team Rocket's Meowth tries to impress by learning to talk in the anime episode, Go West, Young Meowth? Okay? Everybody got that? Season one. Watch that every week. <laughs> um, question number two. Let me get ready to tweet this. No, I can't shut it because it's not my laptop. He can't shut it because it's not his laptop. Um, interesting points in. Uh, that one, I'm not going to be able to do this tweeting because all the questions are too long. I did not see this. Just say them then. Just say them. Okay. Webster the Guard in Gold Silver, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, um, in the gate north of Goldenrod City, will give the player a Spiro. Will give you a Spiro in the game, holding mail to deliver. This Spiro has a nickname. It's named after which country in Africa? What? What? <laughs> is this the one that you think Nate will get? No. <laughs> these are really hard. Um, I can't tweet these because they're too long. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm an idiot. Um, what is the name of that Spiro? It's an African country. Have a guess at an African country. It's not something ridiculous like Equatorial Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> And also, think of how many characters you get when naming a Pokemon, so it has to be quite short. I'm going to stop giving you... Uh, Ryan Maloney's got it. I'm going to stop giving you... Um, hints. Hints, and just go for it. No, no clue. <sighs> Question number three. Team Rocket's rival gang in the Team Rocket organisation consists of Butch and Cassidy... But what is the Pokemon? Now, Team Rocket have a rival gang that are very similar to them. And they appear in a couple of episodes. And the male is called Butch. He's the equivalent of Jesse. The female is called Cassidy. Uh, sorry. The male is called Butch. He's the equivalent of James. The female is Cassidy. She's the equivalent of uh, Jesse. What is the equivalent of Meowth? Which Pokemon is it? I don't even remember there being one. It's, it's in the early seasons, if that yeah. helps. It's going to be a ridiculous Pokemon. Maybe they are, but I don't... Can't it's, it's quite... If you think about it, it's quite similar to Meowth. I think I know what it is. So Team Rocket's rival gang in Team Rocket consists of Butch and Cassidy and which Pokemon? This is specialist knowledge right here. Question number four. What is the name of the train that links Saffron City and Goldenrod City? And it's not something like Derek. <laughs> Derek train. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the train that links Saffron City 
and Goldenrod City. Question number four. Question number five. What is the name of the badge you receive when you beat Misty at the Cerulean City Gym? Come on, guys. This one's pretty easy. I was, when doing it, I was asking you, I was, I was considering asking you to name all eight of the badges, and then I thought, that's, that's Mate, a bit hard. Because you've just been, um, got to the Pokemon League. Into the Victory Road. Into Victory yeah. Road. You should know this. Yeah, you, you should have, have them have all. That. You have to you have should, them. You should have one to get in there. Where well, you check your badge collection. Oh. Uh, badge collection. He's not got his badge collection with him, no. obviously. He's left no, it on I his desk. I wish desk. I had it. So I wish you... I had it. <laughs> okay, we got that. What, what, no. it, what badge do you receive um, when defeating Misty at the Cerulean City Gym? Question number six. This is my favourite question I've thought of today. Which Pokemon has the Japanese name Spear? Obviously, it's tra translated from Japanese. But the translation from Japanese is Spear. Which Pokemon is that? Hmm. So, which question number six. Which Pokemon has the Japanese name Spear? Give you a minute. I'll give give you a minute for that to sink in. I can only think of two Pokemon that it could possibly be. Question number seven. Um, <laughs> that's the best guess ever. <laughs> Luke and Gengar's gone with Lickitung. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, question number seven. Here we go. How many cards does the trainer card Bill allow you to draw? When you play drill. When you play drill, when you play Bill, Nate, how Bill many is your cards? favourite trainer as well. How many cards does that allow you to draw? Old school card, Bill is. Bill was in the, one of the first cards. Oh, I like that rhyme. Can't be played anymore. Huh? Can't, it's not allowed to be played anymore because they made it an item card. It should mm -hmm. be a supporter card. Yeah. Well, that that's all very well and good, but how many cards does it allow you to draw? <laughs> Question number eight: How much HP? In Generation 5 and Generation 2, not in the Heart, Gold and Soul Silver games, I should point out now, how much HP does the item Rage Candy Bar heal? <laughs> if you remember the Rage Candy Bar when you get to the Rake of Lage, the, the Rake of Lage, the Lake of Rage, that guy's selling them, they're pretty pointless apart from they do act like a potion, and how much HP does the item Rage Candy Bar heal? Do you know what? I think this would be the first quiz that I get zero. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, probably. Question number nine. According to the episode Showdown at Dark City, what colour do Cypher and Electabuzz despise? Oh. Go mad at. According to the episode Showdown at Dark City, I'd point out there's been episodes where Cypher and Electabuzz haven't gone mad at this colour. But according to the episode Showdown at Dark City, what colour do Cypher and Electabuzz despise? <laughs> question number 10 and my final question, because I've got to move on soon. Actually, I've got a good two minutes to ask this question, so I might ask it really slow. How... No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> How many white spots does Whale Lord have on its back? Put your Pokedex 3Ds away. Mm -hmm. How many white spots does Whale Lord have on his spot? Yeah, there's ten questions. Um. Are oh, you finished? I'm just going to quickly run over all the questions so everybody can uh, I'm, I'm happy. remember them. Question number one. What is the name of the female Meowth, Team Rocket? Meowth tries to impress by learning to talk. In the anime episode, go west, young mouth. Young Mouth, Young Meowth. Question number two. In the gold, silver, crystal, heart, gold, and soul, silver games, Webster the guard in the gate north of Golden Road City will give the player a Spiro holding mail to deliver. The Spiro is nicknamed after which country in Africa? Question number three. Team Rocket's rival gang in Team Rocket consists of Butch and Cassidy and which Pokemon? Question number four. What is the name of the train that links Saffron City and Goldenrod City? Question number five. Name the badge you receive when you beat Misty from the Cerulean Gym. Question number six. Which Pokemon has the Japanese name Spear? Question number seven. How many cards does the trainer, Bill, allow you to draw? Question number eight. How much HP does the item Rage Candy Bar heal? Question number nine. According to the episode Showdown at Dark City, what colour do Cypher and Electabuzz despise? Don't confer. 
<laughs> oh no, we're just saying you're a bit close to the mic, Rick. It's not my problem. <laughs> Question it's number ten. Your problem. <laughs> Question number ten. How many white spots does Whale Lord have on its back? Now that is this week's quiz. Uh, please get your answers in, of course, on Twitter if you feel if you are taking part along. Tweet them in and let us know how well you did at the end of it. Right now we're going to go on to a song, and this is Explosions, the Move Explosion by Ellie Golding, or Explode by Ellie Golding, or Explode by Ellie Goldine. <laughs> Uh, Ellie Goldine there with Explode or Explosion because that's a Pokemon move we can do that right back to the quiz oh you might have seen us there mucking about well mucking about I say we weren't mucking about taking that picture everybody enjoy the card cool stuff wasn't it back to the quiz question number one was what's the name of the female Meowth Team Rocket 
it's Meowth tries to impress by learning to talk in the anime episode. Go West Young Meowth. Now we've got here, Nate has gone for mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Emma guessed at Mia. Um, James has gone, trick question, Meowth. It's actually Meowzy. Ah. ah. So nobody got that one right. Are you telling me it wasn't mouth? It wasn't mouth. <laughs> Question number two. In gold, silver, crystal, heart gold and soul silver, Webster the guard in the gate north of Goldenrod City will give the player a Spiro holding mail to deliver. The Spiro is nicknamed after which country in Africa? James Plester, gone for Uganda. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Emma's go, gone for go there. E- Egypt. I like it. Nate. Egypt? No, no, sorry. I, I went for Egypt. Nate went for Egypt. Oh. Emma went for the correct answer, which is Kenya. Ah. Seriously? You smashed that out. Well awesome. done. I didn't even know that. Question number three. Team Rocket's rival gang in Team Rocket consists of Butch and Cassidy. And which Pokemon? Um, Nate, Persian. Emma, no, Persian. No, no, no. I'm, I'm this one. Oh, yeah, you are. Sorry. James, Persian. Emma, Persian. Nate, Evie. I like your thinking on Evie. Persian. Will it really be a Persian? The well, actual answer is, when I said it's like Meowth, it's a normal Pokemon. Uh, it's, it's in the same generation. It's rat- Raticate. Oh. Oh. See, I knew that um, Giovanni had a Persian. Yep. That's why I went with that. That's, the only, that's my only logic there. Question number four. What is the name of the train that links Saffron City and Goldenrod City? Uh, James Plester has gone with the Golden Train. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Emma's gone with Big Dash. That wasn't what she called it. She just put a Big Dash. It's probably better than saying anything about <laughs> And Nate went with Train. <laughs> <laughs> It's the magnet train. Come on, guys. Oh, I just meant, I meant to put magnet. Oh, just, did you? Yeah. Right, okay. Well, then, no points for you. <laughs> Question number five. What is the name of the badge you re- received from the Cerulean City Gym? I'm quite disappointed in everybody. You know what? I can't remember. I think I know what it is now. I could not remember. Um, well, let's read out what you've put. Emma's gone with a water badge. James has gone with a water badge. Nate... I want to give you a point for the splash badge. Is it bubble badge? No, it's the oh. cascade badge. Oh, yeah. uh. People on Twitter getting that. Um, question number six. How, uh, which Pokemon has the Japanese name Spear? Uh, James has gone with Pseudo Wudo. Yeah, well, I thought it's a wood Pokemon, isn't it? Spear's made out of wood. <laughs> Not necessarily. Um, <laughs> who's that? Who's that already? Onyx closet? slash Steelix. Which one, mate? I'm going to say Onyx because it's quite. it looks like a spear. Yeah, you're wrong. Steelix was wrong as well. And <laughs> Emma, probably making the most sensible guess out of everybody, went with Spearow. Oh. You're wrong, though. It's yeah. Beedrill. Oh. No way. The Japanese name for Beedrill is Spear. Should have known that. Question number seven. How many cards does the trainer Bill allow you to draw? Um, oh. James has gone with two. Emma's gone with two. Nate's gone with three. Guys, you beat the card master. It's two. I yeah, thought it was draw two. three cards. Sharon. That's Sharon. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Question number eight. How much HP does the item Rage Candy Bar heal? You remember Rage Candy Bar? I don't even remember this play, this bar. James has gone with 100 HP. Nate's gone with 50 HP. Emma's gone with 80 HP. Nate was the closest. It was 20 HP. Oh, really? Is that it? Pretty rubbish item, yeah. Especially how much they're selling it for as well. And what did, what did they call it? What's it called? Rage Candy Bar. No Rage s- Candy Bar. No spaces. <laughs> oh. Question number nine. According to the episode Showdown at Dark City, what colour do a Cypher and Electopus despise? Uh, Nate's gone with purple. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Emma's gone with yellow. Electabuzz is yellow. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Why would it despise itself? And James has gone with the correct answer, which is red. Yes. Uh, question number 10. How many white spots does Whale Lord have on its back? James has gone with eight. It is a big Pokemon. I'll give you that. It's a massive Pokemon. But that's too many. We, we, it was massive when we did it on the Pokedex 3D earlier. Nate and Emma have gone with three. Yeah, the correct answer is four. Oh. So, with that, I'm sad to say, on his debut return to the quiz show... The quiz show, the Pokemon quiz, Nate has scored a massive zero. Zero out of ten. Well done, Nate. And that means that Emma and James are joint winners. Pokemon card of the week. With two points. Well done, guys. Go on to your Pokemon card of the week, Nate. That's fine. (laughs) 
So uh, my Pokemon card of the week this week is a uh, it's a controversial one. It's not a Pokemon. It's I thought I'd go for a trainer. I was gonna say it's not a Digimon, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'd love that. I would love that. So uh, yeah, my Pokemon card of the week this week um, is from the new Plasma Storm uh, expansion, the latest expansion for the Black and White series, uh, and it is um, this card here, Hypnotoxic Laser, which you might have seen knocking around. You might even be using right now. Um, great card, really, really good card in my opinion. Um, item card, so you can use have have up to four of them in your deck. Uh, what this card does is your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Flip a coin if heads the active po your opponent's active Pokemon is also asleep. So being able to poison um, your opponent's Pokemon just straight out of nowhere from with an item card is really handy. Um, especially, uh, and also the, you've got a 50-50 chance of putting that Pokemon to sleep as well. So overall it's, it's a great item card to happy have. I'd definitely have um, multiple copies in your deck. Uh, especially when you use it in conjunction with um, this stadium card. That is also from the Plasma Storm expansion. Verbank City Gym. Um, where on, is this Nate's Pokemon Cards of the Week? Yeah, well, kind of. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Verbank City Gym is uh, a really good card to be using in conjunction with it. It's a stadium card. Um, put two damage counters on poison Pokemon uh, in between turns. So instead of just putting the one you're going to add an extra two more damage counters onto that. So per turn, if you use a hypno hypnotoxic laser and you have this stadium card in play, you can be uh, attaching three damage counters per turn. So definitely a good card. What do you think to that, Rick? I do. I, you said controversial. I agree with controversial in the fact that you pick two cards, you cheeky man. I don't, get, I don't do two Pokemon of the week, do yeah, I? Yeah, but with Except cards, last week, see, with cards it's all about how they work with other cards. That's what it's Same what with it's Pokemon about. if you're doing a double battle. Well, how about that? But no, no, I, I, I like it. It's a, it's a different different way of looking at things. Especially, I like the fact that you can poison a Pokemon. That's yep. really cool. Uh, it means, you can, well, to defend, you're going to have to have a lot of uh, item cards that are going to heal poisoning. Or has some like full heal or something. Have some of those knocking around. Because uh, I reckon, uh, I think that this is going to be a big player since the release of Plasma Storm. So yeah, that is my Pokemon card of the week. Pokemon card of the week. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, well done. Um, will you be rocking those cards, Nate? Yes, definitely. Definitely be rocking those yeah, cards. No question. I don't want to. I don't want to give too much away to people who might be a... No, no, no question. I will definitely be having those item cards in my deck. Okay, so thank you for everybody who took part of the quiz. Keep letting us know uh, how much you got. Luke and Gang are saying 4 out of 10 today. It was hard. I thought on the way back I've got to give it a go. Got to make them hard. But everybody seemed to do quite well. There was um, Ryan Maloney I'm looking at seems to have done really well. So again, let us know how everybody got in. Um, thank you for keep... T yeah, taking part in the competitions. We will have a recap of them now. Okay. Um, I've decided. Right now. Uh, well, we just had a tweet from Luke and Gengar, uh, the caption contest. Uh, he says... Are you, you going to read it out now? Yeah, just because it's funny. <laughs> um, hey, Oak, stop mucking about on the phone or I'll match Oak you. Oh, I like nice. it. Lots of Pokemon references. There's there. lots of Pokemon references there. So, Nate, why don't you mention how, how you can enter? Yes, you can do in many ways. <laughs> You can Skype us at StudyVox FM. Yeah, you can. You can email at radio at StudyVox.com. You yeah, can you tweet can. Pokemania FM. You can do that. You can head over to our Facebook page, which is Facebook.com forward slash Pokemania FM. You can definitely do that. And you can also head over to Pokemania FM.com and get involved in the forums. You can all on the forums. I'm in there. I need to check them again because I was talking too much about the quiz. I want to... That's fine. This show is getting in the way of me talking in forums. <laughs> when you get to our forum, it, you will. if you're brand new to our forum, it just takes a, a minute or so just to start make an account but it's completely free and it just means you've got your own little username you can, yeah. chat, to us about, you can chat to us about Pokemon we've, um, like we've added what they call what's called a pulse in the forum yeah. for uh, putting friend code a dark pulse. online code names okay. so Ooh. hopefully all the listeners of the show can all battle each other yeah so, so head over to the forum put your friend codes in we'll definitely add you we'll slap them in as well after the show yes we'll put ours in as well, well we, again we'll, we'll tell you what they are you are Nate Craddock Nate Craddock or one word low lowercase I'm Cafe Town Berries. <laughs> or one word, all lowercase. Wicked. C-A-F-E-T-O-W-N-B-E-R-R-I-E-S. 
Oh yes. Yes. Uh, let's have a quick recap over the competitions. Like we said, you already put the caption contest up, yep. but let's let's see it again. Well, that's the who's that? there it is. Muck, Professor Oak, having a good time. Well, maybe not Professor Oak, but still. It's just after he said, if we get 10,000 likes on Facebook, <laughs> Muck was like, ah, oh, yes. that sounds like a good idea. That's what Muck sounds like. <laughs> Here is our second competition. Who's that Pokemon? There we go. Lots of guesses already on Twitter. And some right, some wrong. Some right, some wrong indeed. How can you get, well, it does look a bit like, I see, it does look a little bit like another Pokemon right there. Yeah. And that thing coming off it means it might be Spear. You know, the Japanese name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spear. I might do that. I might every week put a Japanese name in. What, and who's that Pokemon? Yeah, I might get... Oh, shall I go and get his Japanese name? I don't know. I don't think you should, because it would make it too easy. Not if it's a ridiculous Japanese name. Okay, fair enough. Well, you can look for that. I will do that. Um, in the meantime, we've had another caption contest entrance. Mm -hmm. uh, You're just going to keep reading them from all out. The Real Missingo yeah. says, um, Oak, I need to call you back. I've got Muck trying to make a move on me on Valentine's Day. <gasps> yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Well, that is definitely a reason to call someone back. It is. I would not persevere with my phone call <laughs> if that was going on. No. If you, maybe he's being attacked by Muck and he's trying to ring for help. Call a 999 situation. Officer Jenny, come quick. Somebody's put muck on me. Yes. <laughs> there you go. There's my caption entrance. Okay. Can I win? No, you can't win. Sorry. Okay. Uh, you've already told everybody how to get in touch yep. with us, haven't you? So that's good. Let's have a look at the Japanese name. Um, I'm not going to say that because it's very similar to the uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. actual name. Um, although I would like a... Can you get a Pokedex description? Oh, really? I've just... It's fine. We can... We'll sort it. I'll, I'll get a Pokedex description if you give me a... I've just deleted the page I was on, you... Oh. Um, we have a question for you guys. We, we, me and Rick were discussing this at length last night. When a, mat, a Machop evolves... Oh, yeah! ...into a Machoke, what's the deal with what appears to be Machoke's underwear? Does that... Is that part of him? Does it grow? Or where does he get that? And we had the same thing with um, Kadab Alec with Abra. Kadabra, Alakazam. Where, where, does, he get where the does the spoon come from? Is that part? Same with Hypno as well. Yeah. Where does that stopwatch come from? Is that part of him? Is that does he? When what, he evolves, what are your guys' theories on it? Because when he evolves, stuff. does somebody have to give him? Uh, does somebody have to give him the stopwatch? Like, Possibly. If you can't find like a proper antique, um, there was a rumor that watch. apparently if slow. Slow poke loses the slow bro. Slow bro loses the cloister on its tail. It reverts back to slow bro. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if that's the same. That sounds. Yeah, I mean, that sounds logical. But the pants thing. Where do the pants come from? I don't know. Are they part of the Pokemon? I, I imagine so. But w this is the thing. What are your guys' theories? Um, um, we are also. I also. We were talking a lot about Pokemon last night, and I wanted to know. These these are questions for you guys. So tweet us in your answers and let us know. But. If Whale Lord learned Splash, <laughs> how effective would it be? I, I can imagine that would be pretty effective. Because Splash isn't like a move that is dependent on the weight of the Pokemon, like, you know, Heavy Slam or things like that. Maybe that's what Heavy Slam is. What? Heavy Slam is just the move Splash, but you're heavy enough to use it. Oh, uh, okay. With effect. Uh, okay. Because, although Heavy Slam does imply that it's hitting the target, whereas Splash means you're just splashing about in the water, trying to, trying to hurt them with... With Splash. With Splash. But if you're a Whale Lord and you use Splash, I imagine there'd be quite the... Um, it's like a wave. Coming out of you right there. Yeah, tidal yeah. wave. Have you got that Pokedex entry? I do indeed. It lives in the ozone layer, far above the clouds, and cannot be seen from the ground. Oh. Which Pokemon is that? To be honest with you, that's like int that's an interesting Pokedex entry, isn't it? It is. So there it you go. Indeed. Please get in touch with us and let us know what you think those answers are. For the prizes, we haven't even said what prizes they win, Nate. I know. What, what do they win, Rick? A booster pack containing how many cards? Ten cards. Ten cards and one... And um, for who's that Pokemon, whatever the Pokemon that is, you will win the card of that Pokemon. Mm. And that that is, of course, containing... Uh, an online booster pack redeemable code so you can get your booster packs on the trading card game online yes indeed excellent stuff right do we move on to our next section yep our next section indeed it is time for our battle video Woo 
Woo! This week it's the trading card game online. What did you do last week? The week, the first week we did Pokemon Stadium to uh, Pokemon Battle between three Pokemon. Okay. I won that. And then the week after that we did Pokemon Stadium mini games, which James won. Ah. It was fun. But now you've got TCG for us, don't you? Yes, so I do. Without yeah. further ado, uh, this is played against a friend of mine. Uh, Luke Kirkham if he's listening thanks for playing yeah thanks for playing it was a good game and if you want to play us you might well get shown on the show so please do play us and then this might happen show them Nate ok here we go uh, here's the another week's TCG online battle this week I'm playing a player called Unknown87 one of Rick's mates so we'll see how it goes not a great hand straight away didn't get any basic Pokemon it's really annoying when that happens and again, that's two, oh, twice with no basic Pokemon. Uh, okay, here we go. So let's play Emolga first. Always a good card to start with. Good basic Pokemon uh, with ability, with its attack called Family. Um, really good. You'll probably be able to see that in a sec. Oh, Tails. Hey, here we go. Right, so he's playing a Raikou EX to start with. That's a big card. Um, good card as well. Uh, so I really need to hurry up and get energy cards and some basic Pokemon on my bench. So really all I'm doing is focusing on getting some energy cards as I've got none in my hand at the moment. Um, luckily I've got some supporters and item cards that allow me to do that. Oh, I've got a Pokemon communication there if I need it. Probably won't use that yet. Um, definitely use energy search though I think yeah um, grab myself another energy card so it's looking a little bit better I've got two two electric energies and two fire energies in my hand I've also got an uh, electric energy attached to a Molga I've just used call for family which what that allows you to do is call two basic Pokemon from your deck um, into your onto your bench so it's really good um, it's a good opportunity to look through your deck as well see what cards are missing um, so you kind of get an idea of what your prize cards are um, the only thing I've got to watch out for is that um, is Raikou EX damaging my bench Pokemon, which I'm pretty sure he will do. He'll, he'll probably go for my Tynemo, um or my Electric if I manage to get it evolved uh, to cut out Dynamotor. He's got two Tynemos on his bench as well. Uh, I think he's probably trying to play the same tactic as me, actually, in this deck. <laughs> so um, there we go. I'm going to involve my Tynemo to an electric. Uh, place my Resha Ram down. Probably going to fo yeah. We're going to focus on getting some energy cards on Zekrom EX now because um, Imolga's not going to last too long. Uh, he's weak to electric as well, so um, two attacks from Earth from Raikou EX and he'll be down play the end card uh, let's see decisions yeah grab, grab, grab myself a Zekrom Normal Zekrom, um, as with Reshiram as well, uh, Outrage is really good. Uh, the more damage it takes, the more damage it gives. So um, it's a good card to rely on if you need to. So he's evolved his Tynemo to an Electric as well um, and played a Stadium card. Ah, oh, okay, right. Now Raikou GX has got two Energy cards. He's probably going to attack my Electric to stop me using Dynamotor as soon as possible. Um, that's what I'm expecting to happen. Uh, always do that, by the way. If you are playing against someone who's using Dynamoto or a card, like a, an Energizer card, get rid of them straight away. If you can attack your opponent's bench Pokemon, get rid of those straight away. Uh, it's the best way to go. Okay, so he didn't. He, uh, he's paralyzed my Emolga. Not a huge problem at this stage. Um, as really, for me, Emolga's just a starting Pokemon. I'm really concentrating on getting Zekrom EX ready to defend after Imolga is gone. <laughs> so 
So he's also got an Emolga on his bench as well. It looks like we're playing quite similar decks here. Yeah, there we go. I thought you would. Uh, he's used Volt Bolt to do 100 damage and take my electric out straight away. Which is a problem now, actually, because it means I've got no means of quickly energising my electric Pokemon on my bench. So we're going to have to do this one at a time. Ooh, unless I can get myself another Tynamo, maybe an electric out as soon as possible. Zekrom EX is ready to go, though. That's a good thing. Um... He's only got three cards in his hand, uh, three Pokemon on the bench, two of which are mainly tool Pokemon. It's okay, I'm not too worried yet. Uh, we'll see how it goes though. I'm going to send Zekrom EX out straight away. Start doing some damage to try and get rid of this Raikou EX. At least with Volt Bolt, um, he has to discard all his electric energy cards, so it has bought me a little bit of time to try and take his Raikou EX down. At the minute, that's the main threat card for me. So, uh, he's played a Zekrom onto his bench as well. Oh, another N. Ooh, I didn't want that. Oh, okay, so he's got Mewtwo EX on his bench as well. That could be problematic now, especially as he's running two Dynamotors. He's going to be able to attach it, maybe three energy cards if he wants to per turn to Mewtwo EX. And with X Ball, that's going to be quite problematic. In an ideal world, I'd have a Pokemon right about now that could um, attack his bench Pokemon to try and get rid of those Dynamotors, get rid of those Electrics, and maybe even attack his Mewtwo EX. But unfortunately, I have no such Pokemon around at the moment. We'll see how it goes, though. looking through to see what cards, what energy cards are attached to Zekrom EX. Glinting Claw, it's not, I don't know whether to take that risk or not, because the more I damage that Zekrom, um, the more damage he's going to be able to give me. So at this stage, I either need to kill it or not attack. So I'm going to go ahead and use, um, yeah, let's, not yet, let's have a look at, yeah, so Strong Vault will kill him, a Glinting Claw will kill him as well if I can get that extra 30 damage, but I don't know whether to take that risk right now, because I need a head, you see, to be able to do 80 damage. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use Strong Vault, just to be sure. Need to kill, get rid of that Zekrom. Okay, so he's played a Molga. Didn't think he would, to be honest. But I'm not going to complain. Just worrying about that Mewtwo EX at the moment. Need to keep an eye on that. Oh, not a great hand again. Oh, and he's got Rayquaza EX as well. Playing a really strong deck, actually. Yeah, there we go. He's going to be using his Dynamotor to get energy cards on Rayquaza, as you can see now. Yeah, there we go. Switched for Rayquaza to, just, to uh, get rid of my Ray, um, Zekrom EX. It's not looking too good for me now, I'm going to be honest. Not got much in the way of uh, promising cards at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, decisions, decisions. Not really much I can do in this position right now. Let's see what he does now. Yeah, he's still using Dynamo to, to get his energy cards back onto Raikou EX. Um, you can see how effective uh, Electric is if you've got a couple of them on your bench here. Um, he was able to get Raikou EX ready, fully energy carded up straight away again um, really easily. That's how effective uh, Electric is. The only problem, um, like I say, if you are facing uh, someone who is using Electric, uh, Dynamota, you need to attack them straight away. Like, as you saw at the beginning of this battle, uh, he got rid of my electric straight away. Um, to cut, Because if you can cut the energy source, you, you you do a lot better. So always attack the tall Pokemon first. This isn't looking great. Uh, this will be the last... If he manages to kill this Reshiram EX, it's all over for me. It's, uh, it's not been a great game for me. Rayquaza again, you see the Dynamo uh, Rayquaza has already got um, two energy, three now. Three electric energy cards, he's ready to go again. And yeah, that's that's it. That's a, should be a final blow coming now. Managed to hold on thanks to that Eviolite. <laughs> Didn't do much good though. It's kind of just prolonging the inevitable now. Hope I might be able to get an attack in. Uh, let's have a look. So yeah, that's uh, that's looking like it's going to be the end of the road now. It's already yeah. There's, there goes the energy card. You see, as soon as they're discarded, they're straight back on using Dynamo to so get those energy cards straight back. It's a good little setup he's got there. Just waiting for the final blow. So yeah, that was this week's trading card game online battle. Thank you very much to Luke who I just played there. Good game, good game indeed. There so, you go, taken down. I did. I got taken That's down. That's the first time you've ever lost one of these, isn't it? Yeah, it was a, hum a yeah. humbling experience. Yeah, he was playing a really good strong deck actually. Rayquaza, um, electric combo. He plays a lot. Yeah, does tournaments a lot. It's good. That. It was a very strong deck indeed. So there you go. What would, if you could do anything differently, what would you do? Uh, if I could do anything differently, I would have played um, a better deck. <laughs> yeah, I would have played <laughs> uh, my Tarakian deck. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, interesting. Well, of course you'd have that resistance, wouldn't you? Yeah. To it. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the photo that we took in the show is now up. That photo. All up on Facebook. So if you guys, it's on, it's on our Facebook page, as you can now see. If, yeah, Nate's shown it about. If you could go on there and like it, tell everyone to like it, uh, log into Facebook and like it. That's the important thing, so we can get these likes. See if we can do it. Why not? It seems to work for some other people, and they get stupid things like puppies. If if they, yeah. we get cool Pokemon tattoos. That's going to be filmed as well. Well, we hope so. Yeah, yeah we're going we'll to try and get it filmed. Film it. Um, Even so if we have to go to some shady back alley Pokemon tattoo. Indeed. So yeah, please on Facebook, like and share it with everyone you know. Just get Gary Oak, likes. Gary Oak behind like a Chinese restaurant with a tattoo gun. <laughs> if we have to do that, we will. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, please, guys, uh, it'd be awesome. We really want to get them, and we might as well get some exposure for doing it as well. Thank you for helping us out, everybody fun times head over Indeed. and like it also get onto our website www.pokemaniafm.com 
check out what's going on there. Go on to the forums. We're talking about some Pokemon stuff. That's what we're doing. Uh, still to come, we've got a fan section. Was there anything else I was supposed to say? I can't remember. Or have I covered it all? I think you covered all the back in the forum. Oh, wait, hang on. I was supposed to say this. You're listening to the Pokemania Show with Nate and Rick on Studybox FM. Definitely we're Definitely supposed to say supposed that. To do that yeah. Okay, let's crack on with the rest of the show. We've still got a lot to talk about. We have. We've, still, we've only got 15 minutes to do it, so talk quick, Nate. Oh, wow, it's that time, yeah. It's the news. It's that time already. It's news. You can do this one if you like. I'd love to. <laughs> Congratulations to everybody who played in the 2013 International Challenge January. Great prizes were on the line in the 2013 International Challenge January. The Global Battle Union Wi-Fi Tournament held late last month, including play, exclamation mark, Pokemon Championship points. Cool. Uh, Boys to upcoming competitions for North American players and a Jaboka Berry for everyone who qualified. If you played and qualified for a Jaboka Berry... Um, visit the global Pokemon Global Link promotion pages now to claim it. We will let you know when the next Wi-Fi tournaments will be taking place. That's come straight from um, Pokemon, Pokemon. So we will be letting everybody know, as we usually do, when the next uh, Pokemon tournaments will be taking place. Anybody, anybody enter the tournament? Please let us know. How well did you do? Did yeah. you, have you claimed your Jaboka Berry yet? Go and get it. <laughs> In more news, um, we've had a, an announcement that... Um, the new in the trading card game universe uh, the, the, there's a new set coming out in May uh, and the English, the English name for it is Plasma Freeze it will feature cards such as Deoxy EX Thunderous EX and EV and EV's evolutions um, it's the equivalent of Japanese Black and White 8 Spiral Force Thunder Knuckle um, and this is the full description um, it says a world freezing over a chilling plan close to competition Team Plasma's frosty assault on Unova continues in the Pokemon TCG Black and white plasma freeze expansion <clears throat> and trainers everywhere uh-huh. sorry i got excited then <laughs> uh, <laughs> and trainers everywhere must show icy resolve if they are to halt the relentless deep freeze the struggle will be bitter as team plasma releases a blizzard of team plasma's pokemon including deox es ex thunderous ex and all of eevee's evolutions but backed by team plasma energy item and support cards but with legendary pokemon lateas La- lateos and lateas standing by your side Ooh, i know I can clear my throat now. Are you all right? Yeah, I got a bit excited about that. It's a new trading card game. What can I say? I do expansion. have an image they seem for you to, guys. There you go. They seem to be slapping the expansions out all the time, though, don't they? I'm not complaining at all. No, you're not. I'm not either, but they're, they're going for it. They're really going for it. They hit the promo. Excellent work, Pokemon. And Deoxy and Thunderous look awesome in that picture. Yes, they do. So there you go. Plasma Freeze. <laughs> well, hang on. What was it that you put on there? Um, what was the phrase that made me giggle? I can't find it. Never uh, mind. Halt the relentless deep freeze. <laughs> yes. I love it. That relentless deep freeze. Can't be doing it. It sounds like a new energy drink. It does. It does. Maybe we should put that to relentless. Okay. And your deep freeze. News number seven. We've got still got more news. The same magazine, Koro Koro, has announced a new downloadable Wii U title. <laughs> new game, everybody! It's called Pokemon Scramble U. That's what. Kurokuro have called it, but which we of course may tra- localise and translate to Pokemon Rumble U. Rumble U is a weird thing to call a game. <laughs> <laughs> it will be released in Japan this spring and will have all the Pokemon from Generations 1 through 5 in it. Now this is what I really like and I want to discuss. Up to 100 Pokemon can be <laughs> battled at the same time. Yes! <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's going to be cool. I imagine there's going to be difficulty like figuring out what your Pokemon want to do it's going to be there's so much going on so much Pokemon move it's going to be mayhem is the word to describe it well done Nate this will be the third Pokemon Scramble title released since 2009 a hundred Pokemon battling at the same time where is big enough to hold a hundred Pokemon a hundred Weedles battling at the same time maybe but not a hundred Whale Lords well I'm so excited about this (laughs) I can't help myself it's going to be good. I think, I think it's the first one released, isn't it, since 2009? A hundred. A hundred Pokemon, Nate. A hundred Pokemon. I know, you look very place, excited about that. Fighting each other. Yeah, you do look... Where are the trainers going to be? I don't know. How do you fight, figure out which one you're going to use an item on? All questions that I want answering. 
<laughs> I'm so excited. Yes. Right, let's carry on on being an idiot. We've only got 10 minutes left and we've got a lot oh, to do. Oh, we've got so much to do. Um, what was I going to say? I wanted to say something. I can't remember. Never mind. Oh, yes, that's what I wanted to say. This week's episode is being recorded, much like all the other ones, but this is different because we're recording video. Yes. Wave at everybody, Nate. Hi. You, you've left something on the screen. Uh, yeah, but they were reading about Pokemon Rumble. What? In Japanese. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Wave to everybody. This is a good... Good start to our first recorded show. <laughs> yeah, um, this video will be, this entire show will be on our website and YouTube. Um, like, after this show, I guess. At some point, maybe. Well, uh, yeah. James looked should, up like, sorry. hang yeah, on, what? Yeah. <laughs> it should be on, uh, uh, if not tonight, by tomorrow. Tomorrow. By tomorrow, so you'll you be So you can catch up and re-listen. Yes. Videos of us. And you can take. You can look at us whenever you want. Amazing. Yeah, because we have got all the previous episodes, but they're audio only. Yeah, they're audio only. But from this week onwards, there will be video as well. Woo! Good times. Right. Let's move on to our n- last section. Last but we one have section. To go- last but the the poker fan section. Yes. That's the last section. Oh, quickly, last guys. but one section. Quickly, guys. We've certainly currently got six likes. Six so we, likes. We're on getting the, there. We're getting. Woo! There. We just put it up. We've got, we got six likes. We've got six. I haven't cool. even liked it yet, so that's good. Only. 9,994 <laughs> to go. So make sure you get over to uh, facebook.com slash pokemaniafm and like it. Yes, please do. Right, go on, Nate. Right, our fan section. This is where you guys have been sending stuff in, and I'm going to show it to everyone now. Uh, yeah, so, he is. <laughs> so um, our first fan, Ryan Maloney, thank you very much for... Uh, sending this in so this is a video from Game Freak's latest game Harnio Knights and it has a Pokemon level um, I do actually have that video right here so we're going to play that for you um, see what you think Rick I can't see your mic in the way it's pretty cool that is cool the music in time for as you collect things <laughs> playing the Pokemon here. oh that is sweet so yeah, this is from the from Game Freak's latest game. Uh, check it out if you haven't already. It looks pretty good. I'm, I'm, I want to check it out. Yeah, I want to check it out just for this level. Just because it's got a Pokemon there. Very cool. So if you miss one, do you miss bits of the ch- the song? Yes, uh, I guess so. Well, I'm not sure. I've not played it. Um, I'm looking forward to that. That's cool stuff. Our Thank next one uh, was from our good friend Luke and, no, Luke and Gengar. Has he got his Gengar back yet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why it's called Luke and Luke Gengar. Luke and Gengar, um, who uh, has sent in a picture of his booster pack we, he won, and and uh, the special, the very special Pokemania card. Oh, there it is. There it yeah. is. Yeah. So, yeah, um, he says, uh, you people are awesome. Black Kurum here, and you got White Kurum on TCG online. Good work. That's some. That's a good booster pack. <laughs> <laughs> that's done well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for sending that in. Um, we also have... I don't know what else we also have. We have a, another one from Saya Springfield who just shows his picture of her favourite, um, the favourite gym leader. Oh yeah. She's really cool. So I like that gym really leader. Cool. Oh, what's, it, what's her name? I can't remember. What is her name? The poison one, isn't it, that's the, in the band? Yeah. Um, I can't remember, but it's from Black and White 2. It's really cool. That's cool. Um... Let's see what what else we got. What else we got? What else have we got? We have got uh, this fan pic sent in by Ryan Maloney as well. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that is wicked. I know, right? <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> ah, the yeah. So, yeah, the looks ray king. The looks ray king indeed. That, that is was cool. a cool one. Roxy's gym leader. Roxy. Thank well, you, Bingo. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. So yeah, thank you to everyone who sent stuff in. Sorry if we didn't get a chance to show all of it, um, but keep sending it in and we'll keep showing it on next week's show. Any images that you've sent in today, um, I'll be able to get for next week's show as well. Indeed. I've now figured out why you were saying last but one section, because we've got to do caption. caption. The winners. Competitions. The winner. The winners from last week. Woo. Ah, and I can't believe you did this, Pokemon. But, oh, well. <laughs> you were the one who sent it in. Yeah, we got it sent in by you know. I, what? I wasn't even here. I didn't Nate, even know Nate, what was going on. Are you going to be on. all right showing the picture of this Pokemon? Dude, look, let's just... Uh, are you going to go weak at the knees? Look. I don't want... Make sure you're sitting down properly. Who's yeah? that Pokemon? Winner from last week was Tyreek Morrison. So thank you very much for entering and well done for winning. Uh, it was, of course, well, apparently, it was <laughs> Lolpany. <laughs> I love you, Tariq Morrison. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. 
<laughs> Tyreek Morrison uh, got it right and said, yeah, Lopany. So congratulations. Hey, you've kept that picture for quite a long time. You have. You've kept it on I'm the talking screen. about, right, I'm moving on. <laughs> <laughs> well then, Tyreek, you win um, a booster pack and that card. Indeed. Uh, uh, please do it's, send... It's a good card as well, actually. Yeah, it is. I knew you'd say that. Whatever. <laughs> if um, you could please get... Uh, sorry, sorry, carry on with the next... Yeah, uh, next one. Uh, the next one, our caption contest from last week, our winner was Ignacio Ramos. So congratulations, who said Payday. Female Pokemon love it when I use Payday. Female Pokemon do love it when they you do. use Payday. Hey, what Pokemon's that on the right, yeah. though? Why has that got Lopini in it as well? The one week I'm not here. <laughs> right, okay, whatever. Um, any of both of you, you winners. Have got any you... Valentine's cards from Lopini? Have you hid them from us? I'm not talking about this anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, winners from last week, if you could direct messages, you could either email us at radio at studyvox.com, send us a direct message on Twitter or Facebook with your details where we can send your prize. That would be great. Inicio Ramos, I believe we've already got them, but do them anyway. Yep. Um, yeah, that would be amazing if you could send them in. Keep... Keep taking... Po- oh, or you can sit, put it on a forum. Actually, can you put it on a forum? Yep. You can put them on a forum if you want. Um, can you direct message us on the forum? I think you can direct message on the forum. I mean, you can do anything on that forum you want. Yeah, there's a lot of things uh, you can do on that forum. Keep entering uh, with these competitions for next week are running uh, until next week. So uh, here we go. This is the caption for this week again, once more. Oh, Mark. <laughs> Just mucking around. Um, uh, mucking around. <laughs> and here is the picture for who's that Pokemon? Remember, lives in the ozone layer. Can't be seen from the ground. So what yeah. is that Pokemon? And again, you win a booster pack of 10 cards and that card, whatever that card is. And the online code. <laughs> and the online, the online code, code, code from the booster pack. That's how you get all those sweet, sweet cards. Yep. Please check out our new, new launched website. Mm-hmm. Hit Go. the forum up. Look at all the um, shows that we've been doing. Just uh, let's keep going on the forum. We'll be talking on it every week, saying things about Pokemon. I've got nothing better to do. Do you? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> um, yeah, and also uh, head over to Facebook and hit like on that image for us. We can get these Pokemon tattoos on the go. I can't wait. I'm just going to get. What are you going to get? Mewtwo. Yeah, but where? Like I said, you should get that, that purple tube on the back of your neck like Mewtwo has. No, I'm not going to get an extra <laughs> spinal cord tattooed on my neck. I you shouldn't. Do you know why Mewtwo has that? Uh, it's to um, maximise blood flow to his brain to increase his psychic abilities. Wow. There you go. He's Somebody... not happy with just one spinal cord. He needs two. <laughs> needs all the blood he can get to that Absolutely. brain. Absolutely. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know, like... I'm still torn. Uh, there's lots I want to get. Like, loads of things I want to get. You know how people... I would like if you could get Mach- Machamp's face tattooed over your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> interesting. That would make my day. Or Machamp's pants tattooed around the pants area. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, they're your choices. See, I was thinking, like, I want to get a really common, like, tattoo that everybody gets, but Pokemon it up. Like, you know how everybody gets that really detailed carp? Yeah, yeah. But it'd be Magikarp. Okay. Or how everybody gets, like, f- things written across their knuckles and just get, like, Geodude. Um, <laughs> really quickly, I don't know how long we've got left. Yeah. On Twitter, Luke and Gengar's just said in, uh, you should get a Lopunny tattoo, mate. And then Lopunny. I heart Lopunny. Well, that's not going to happen. And then an arrow going through it. That's not going to happen. Where's this Lopunny thing come from? Lopunny. Lopunny. It's not Lopunny. Lopin. Unless that's your pet name for, your, for the low pony, Nate. All right. Anyway, moving on. Um, what time does this show end? 20 seconds to. 20 hour. seconds to. Oh, so we've still got 35 yeah. seconds to fill. Keep hitting up the competitions. Keep. I might get a whale lord blowhole. the forums, because we're going to be chatting on there all yeah, week. Um, yeah, put in the forums what tattoos you think we should get. Yeah, also mm-hmm. any news that we've spoke about this week, we'll share in the forum as well, so you can reread it, and there'll be more details of links where to go to and stuff to read more about it. Let's Pokemon forum one off, and get the word out. Get the word out, indeed. That word, you know, Pokemon. Keep playing Pokemon all week. <laughs> Don't sleep. Play Pokemon. Play Pokemon, because you've got to catch them all. Thanks, guys, for listening. Got to catch them all. Love ya.